Okay. No. No. Okay. I'm on. I'm still on. I'm fine. Everything's okay. We're good. Wow, this rope is tricky to climb. Okay, and then... Oh, okay. There we go. Now we'll throw down pieces around like that. Alright, and that's this area complete. So this will be sort of a shade uh, for mostly in the su uh, summertime so that I can walk around the edge of the barn without getting burned um, from sun damage. You can still see the shade lines down there. So that's good. Um, I may add more sort of walkways up here to add more shade, but we'll see. It's actually a really good view of everything from up here. I can see all the villages, see exactly what's going on, how they're expanding, what they're doing, which is good. I like that. Doesn't look like this town has made any progress in a long time. I should go check on them. Okay, uh, let's jump over here. Let's see if we can catch the rope as it falls. Got it. Okay, and then this should be a straight shot all the way to the bottom. Whoa, whoa. Okay, and let's go all the way down. And... Yeah, it looks like it hit... Oh, I think there was a torch on the very bottom, though, so that might have stopped it by one block. Um, we'll have to see. So then let's remove this and this piece of dirt. And then remove the sides of these pillars. I might want to extend these up further, but I'm not sure what material I want to make them out of yet. And then I had put down some dirt and some uh, wooden planks before. Yeah, there's this one block right here that it didn't reach, but I think that's fine because I can still just step on um, from this height. I can still grab and pull up. Although, I just realized I have the same issue as up above. Really, there should be planks on these corners. So maybe I should get rid of the pillars entirely, but I do like the design of them. Hmm. Okay, let's just remove them for the time being and I'll figure something out. Okay, like so. And there we go. And I don't think anything can fall down this size of a hole because the rope is going to block it. Except maybe some of the baby animals might be able to. Oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, we're safe. So I'm not sure if this is going to be the best design. Once I start getting animals in, I might find that this won't work and maybe I'll have to actually have a door on this somehow. Maybe build up some sort of small area around this. Like only have maybe one, one way down, like just here instead of all the way around. Um, but uh, once once I start getting some animals involved, I'll be able to tell what I'm going to need to do. Okay, that rope is really difficult to climb. Okay, and so that's my new sort of interesting design complete. Um, and that should work. Yeah. And the thing about that, though, why I like that idea that someone's a uh, couple people actually uh, pointed out was at, at, like using the controller to move a platform way above for shade. What I like about that is depending on the angle, I might not be able to um, see it. So if I'm up on the roof here, let's just head up quickly and just up through the front or through the top, I guess. If I'm looking right here barn looks cool. Only if I look up there do I notice the giant floating platform. And I'm sure I could make that look better so it maybe looks like a ship of some kind rather than just a floating platform. But yeah. I don't know. I like that. Seems pretty cool. Now I just need to start laying down dirt and maybe figuring out how to automate the whole system so that like I have water flows and with pistons it like washes all the wheat down. Or I could just do it traditionally where there's paths 
and the wheat rows are only like three wide or something. And then I can just walk along, smash it, and then like pick it up. I don't know, I'm still trying to decide. But I'm not probably, um, well, I'm, hmm. I don't think I want to get around to that right now. I want to go see how this town is doing because they've been stalled for some time now. I haven't seen really any progress from them. And I wonder if they're really just stuck on wool still because they do have a building that's supposed to be producing it for them. But let's head over here because I couldn't check on them during the, the summer, but fall has come so I can freely roam again. Um, yeah, they're still missing just one piece of wool. Did they ever get someone to move into the uh, farm back here? Bunch of lumberjacks hanging around. Oh yeah, there's this over here too. Yeah, someone... There are people that live here. And they have drinks, but I don't see... I'm almost positive this is the sheep and... Sheep and, um... Chicken farm. I just don't know why they're not producing any wool. Okay, well, it's starting to get dark. I need to head back. Um, and maybe I should actually start taming some sheep. It was pointed out in the last part. Bit of a slowdown spike there. Um, yeah, so it... I, I thought seeds tamed, but it's not. It's wheat. So what I was doing was getting the sheep to follow me. When you give uh, a baby animal seeds, it'll follow you around. But what I wanted to do was give it a piece of wheat, and that would have tamed it. That way it wouldn't despawn. And then use a piece of seed to lead it to, uh, or use some pieces of seed to lead it to the barn. Okay, let's sleep till dawn. I need to clear out some of this, uh, dirt for the time being, because I'm not, it's just taking up inventory space. So, oh, this one's full. Um, when I actually get, get around to building the farm, I'll come back and get it. Uh, okay, now, with the slime balls, I want to actually make, uh, a couple pistons. Um... Do I have all the materials? I don't. I need some more redstone. Okay, and then I'm going to make two because I want to tame some sheep right now as well. There's one other project I want to do. So while I'm waiting for sheep to appear, I'll work on this other project. Um, oh, I only have enough cobblestone for one. Shoot. Okay, I'm going to need to go dig up some cobblestone real quick. Cobblestone is like the limiting resource that I have right now. I, I just don't have enough of it. Um, so we're just going to dig up a little bit of cobblestone here. Four pieces. I think I picked those up. Yeah, I did. Now let's head back upstairs and make another piston. Okay. And now, let's see. Cobblestone on the sides. Planks on top, redstone at the bottom, iron in the center. Okay, that's another one. Now, um, slime ball, sticky piston, uh, slime ball, sticky piston. Good. Now, I'm going to need some redstone torches. There's one. And I've got some redstone, and I'm going to need a lever as well, which means I need more cobblestone. Shoot. Okay. Go back down here one more time and then get another piece um, that one there I guess and then I don't need to actually head back up to make it uh, just do that and then one there look good and that should be everything I need to go experiment with this so um, okay the experiment I need to do with the uh, with the sticky pistons is towards the fact that I'm trying to do a um, three wide door for the barn and the issue with that is that um, it, it's generally kind of hard to make a three door work because of the way the pistons are but I'm thinking and this could be crazy because I haven't played with the pistons that much but it's just an idea I want to try and if it doesn't work it doesn't work First off, I need to even see if you can stack two pistons on top of each other. Okay, you can, but can I get them both going in this direction? Okay, now, if I throw down the lever here, and I do that, that activates that one. Okay, that is what I want. 
Now, if I take a couple pieces of sand here, um, shoot, need to remove that grass. Okay, there. And if I add a redstone torch right here, that activates that one. So when I remove them, that did not pull that one down. That is not what I intended to happen. Huh. Hmm, this isn't going to work out the way I had hoped. I was hoping I would just be able to um, have a redstone torch on the side and that would make that work. But, looks like it's going to be more complicated than that. Let's try using redstone. And then, like that. Yeah, that's going to make it activate as well. Okay, it looks like I'm going to have to make it so that it actually um, see I'm not sure if this is even possible that's the one thing that concerns me I'm wondering if I can activate both for a moment okay so then if I flick the switch they both go up if I flick the switch that one gets turned off but not fast enough for this one to pull it back down because it looks, it looks like um, if one is up, it won't get pulled down by another one. Hmm. So there almost needs to be a delay on the bottom one. So if I grab this here, and I take that and throw it... Oh wait, where'd the... No, I want the lever. Okay, let's put the lever down like here. And then I need to head back up to the house because I have a repeater in one of those chests. Baby sheep. Looking for any baby sheep. No, none around. None at all. Okay. Alright, so then let's see. Um, should be able to connect it directly to it like that. Then set it back four. Is that. Oh no, there's four. There we go. Why didn't that activate the bottom one? Oh, shoot. Okay, so... Because this one activates first, now this is an issue because... Huh. Because when they're pushing up, this one needs to get the current first and this one second. When they're pushing down, this one needs to get the current uh, second, and this one needs to get it first, or turned off. Huh. How the heck am I gonna pull that off? I almost need just two switches. Do I have... I don't have any cobblestone. Where is some cobblestone? I need another piece of cobblestone. Can't be that hard to find. Okay, just grab this one here. Okay, and then head back. I'm thinking maybe instead of trying to use redstone repeaters, because that seems like it's probably not going to work if I'm going to need different timing depending on um, when it's going up and down, why not just use two levers? It's going to make things a little more complicated, but we'll see. Okay, so another piece of stone and another stick. Wait, I had this many sticks on me? Why did I make more? Okay, didn't notice that. Okay, now, if I throw down a piece here... and then activate this one, that'll go up, that'll go down. Now, the actual intent here is to have a piece of dirt here, or wood, or log, or whatever, and then this will look kind of ugly, but this is the only way I can see making it work, is have another a piece of sand there. So now, order, I need to push this one up first, and then push that one, then pull this one down, then pull this one down. Is this not a sticky piston? I thought this was a sticky piston. Shoot. This isn't going to work. Hmm. Because my original thought process here is that I could have like... Um, actually I should be using dirt. Uh, there's one. Was this could be like the floor. Or wait. No. Scratch that. I meant... This could be the floor right here and then I was hoping what I could do would be 
pull this one down. And that would pull the next one down. Wait, would this have even worked even if it had? Okay. Yeah, that still would have left one piece above ground. Shoot, never mind. Maybe my logic was flawed from the beginning. You've been watching Tolhe flail around with pistons and redstone and not know what he's doing. Um. Oh, no, this would work. I just had the floor at the wrong spot. My bad. I was thinking the floor could be here. Right, that's right. So I would come, walk up to the barn, This, and you'd have pistons on the side, bring in logs, and then probably have it three high, and then have one come down from the roof, and then have this one pull down, this one pull down, and that one pull back down. The order's really weird on that, but it could work. Um, it just requires a lot of flicking of switches in order to make it happen. And then I'd probably need a different lever altogether in order to control the other ones that would, like, have a piston that would push a log um, into here, and then have another one that pushes logs into here, and then another one here, and another one above that. So have, like, three pistons that push three logs in and on either side, and then have a piston up above in the, in the roof that would push one log down, and that would make a three by three. But... Yeah, this requires a lot of flicking of switches in order to get it to work. So that would be fully up, and then pull that one down, then pull that one down. Oh, slow down spike. And then push that one back up, and then pull it back down. It's a lot of flicking of switches. I don't know if that could be automated in some way, or how big that would even be. I'd probably need like a massive area of redstone or something in order to determine that. But yeah, that's a lot of logic. I'm sure it's doable though, but... Oh. Wait, wrong order. Pull down, pull down, pull back up, pull down. Hmm. Okay, well that's an idea. Oh, sheep. Um, how long have you been here and I haven't noticed? Two pieces of wool. No baby sheep though, just a adult one. I don't know if I can tame an adult one. Okay, well, I don't know. There's my idea on how how a three three by three door would work. Um, if anyone knows any way that it, that could be automated with some sort of switch system, some logic, um, be cool if you could make a video. But I don't think it's possible. There's just so much logic there. I mean, it might be, but I don't know. Because it's going to need some alter, uh, alternating current and timing is going to need to be done right. And it's going to, I don't know, it's just, it's odd. Um, if it sent current down like two lines and then one line went to the first piston and pulled it down. And then the other line went to the bottom one and pulled it. But I'd still need two switches, I think. Okay, let's sleep till dawn. Right, and I've slept till dawn. Um... Probably shouldn't just walk outside. Oh. Anything else around? No, I don't, I don't see anything else. Oh. I see you, Mr. Creeper. I'm gonna head out the secret entrance. So yeah, um... I don't know. It. I don't know if that 3x3 three three door is gonna work. It might be a lot of work to make it actually functional. And then, ne the other goal though is to find a baby sheep, although when I was working with the piston stuff, I guess I wasn't really paying attention. And I think I've been running for about enough for part A and B, and I kind of want to stop here actually, because Minecraft's slowdown is starting to get on my nerves, to be honest. Um, nothing evil around? Evil things? No? Okay. Seems like we're good. Should be able to bring Steve Dave down soon. Is this ship still active over here? Or did I generate it back into the world? Because it seems to load oddly sometimes. Oh! This craft has not been a part of the world. 
for like I don't know how many parts. I wonder if this could have been causing some slowdown, the fact that this ship was not a part of uh a part of the world. And it has just been sitting here for so long. Oh yeah, there's a wing here. None of the pieces are loading of it. Huh. Yeah, and I can't can't reactivate this either. I wonder. Yeah, because I've been experiencing a lot of slowdown lately, and I've just been it's been kind of odd, and I couldn't figure out what it was. But I wonder if there was that ship just sitting there, like more than usual. Like I've just and I, when I'm in Minecraft, and actually, you know what? It sort of has completely stopped. Huh? Could just be a fluke at the moment that it sort of stopped at the same time I turned it back on, but it could also be. Oh, there was a bit. Okay, so maybe not. I don't know, just a thought. Anything around here? Creepers? Gone? Yeah, they're gone. What's that down there? Is that... Oh, it's just a normal pig. Okay, well, um... Next time I'm going to continue looking for baby sheep. Maybe check on the other towns a little bit. Um, I'm definitely going to go give these guys the wool I found, though. And get them working on their next project. Because I think they're stalled right now. Although I guess if they didn't have enough materials for something, they might move on to the next building they could upgrade. But I don't know how that works if they're smart enough to do that. Okay, someone come here. I'll sell you some wool. Uh, let's get the sword out of my hand just in case. I think they now have guards. Okay, sell that. And that project is done. Upgrade 5. And of course, it figures their next upgrade is more wool. So yeah, I'm definitely going to need to get wool production on my side up and running so that I can really help these guys out. Um, but yeah, for now, uh, this is going to be Tolhi signing out. Later, guys.